I call Pratt. Now here's the weird part about it. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how's it going? All right. Good. Um, so can you lower the volume a little bit because I can hear myself in the background through an echo? Okay. How about now? Perfect. And then um, take a, like, roll your chair back a little bit and bring your camera up a little bit. And let's see. Let's look at the camera. A little bit more? Uh, no, you're good. Just look at the camera. Okay. Uh, it looks better if you're looking at the screen. And perfect. Bring up your camera just a little bit more. The top of your head is cut off. Alrighty. How about that? Let's see now. That's good, but there's still a little bit too much headroom at the top. Oh, okay. Start it down like maybe a quarter of an inch on your end. Second now. Perfect. Alright, okay, I'm going to put you on hold. We're going to be going into your topic shortly. So, thank you so much. Alrighty. Is, and he says he's no longer gay. He's straight because he's found religion. And uh, on uh, TMZ, uh, we made reference to a website, a, a, Isra a Hebrew, the Isra Hebrew Israelites, uh, and, and suggested that maybe this is part of the, uh, the what, what Antoine Duncan was talking about in relation to you know being angry uh, and and also being intolerant toward gays. Well, um, we have somebody on uh, who has contacted us from that website. Uh, his name is Obed Obadiah, Obadiah is Israel, Israel, who uh, takes issue with that statement, and we said we would give him a chance to uh, explain. So welcome to TMZ Live. Hey, welcome, fellas, and uh, thanks for having me on. And uh, I just want to address the issue real quick um, about Hebrew Israelites and um, our website and the difference between us. Now, when you showed the, the, uh, the screen capture of our site, and then immediately you linked us or made it seem as if we were associated with another Israelite group that I believe that you got their information from YouTube, the ones that are out in the street cussing and fussing and uh, using profanity towards people, we are not that group. We are not associated with them. We are uh, Israelite heritage. That's our organization. We've been in operation for um, approximately 17 years to work. And our organization is aimed at uh, delivering the truth of the Bible. Now, we have similar beliefs to that group that you're showing. And the, and the similar beliefs, even what uh, Antoine Dotson now believe, is that um, all the people that were brought here doing uh, the transatlantic slave trade, that we all are descendants of the ancient Israelites. That's the African Americans, the Jamaicans, Haitians, Afro-Puerto Ricans. And we got... Uh, scriptural evidence, we got historical evidence and archaeological evidence to prove that this is actual history. Now when you look at when you look at the term African American, you look at the term black, you look at all these with the other group, but yet we at the same time are a different camp or a different uh, congregation or a different community of Israelites. Israelite heritage, we're about uh, reaching out to the community. We got uh, several uh, uh, community out, um, outreach programs that we do, like uh, feeding, you know, feeding the homeless. We work in the homeless shelters. Uh, we give out free clothing to the community. So that's a difference between what we do versus what you're seeing on the streets in New York and Philadelphia. So okay. we need that to be known. But looking at what Antoine Dotson, because he did come through uh, our website, the information that was contained there, and this is causing the change that you're starting to see in his life. Okay, we got your point, and thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're opening up anything you guys want to talk about. You're watching TMZ Live, and we... Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.